Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about something that we don't normally do in Jamaica. It's a thing that should be done and especially if you live out in the country where you have to actually store your water yourself or get your water from a tank or you have to buy water. This is something that you should do if you have a garden and it's called a grey water system. Now I'm going to show you I am, by the way, over at my mom's house here, and uh, as you can see, this is her house, and you are looking at the kitchen window right here. Now, the sink, the kitchen sink is directly behind me, and is directly behind that window right there. And let me turn you around and show you what we have here. What we have here is called a grey water system. Now, for you who do not know what a grey water system is, it is simply a, a way of... Um, slightly clearing up the water that comes from your uh, either your sink in the bathroom or your sink in the kitchen and um, removing the harder particles and removing some of the other things that um, probably shouldn't be in there the things that can settle things like oils and fats and so on and uh, making the water such a way that it can actually be used in your garden so let me just show you exactly what this system is okay so as you can see this is essentially a very tiny very very small um, version of what would normally be your two chamber septic tank now as you can see right here you can have this here this pipe here is coming directly from the uh, kitchen sink now this is your settling chamber right here and of course this here this other one here that would be your overflow pipe now as you can clearly see it is exactly the same as your um, septic tank except that it's very small now the water that comes from the kitchen will come into this small chamber right here it will then it will have all those particles food particles and on top of it will be floating the oils and the fats um, and a few other things that you wouldn't want like soaps and so on and so forth now just below the surface right here is where the water is going to come up so this pipe right here is going to be about two or three inches i think it's about two inches below the surface now as this entire chamber fills up of course it naturally cannot fill up past the exit the exit that is right here so naturally gravity will just push the water back down and the clearer water which has settled below the uh the surface of this water right here so the the water that is on top will not actually pass through here because of course there you have the the pipe and as you can see it is there it goes down below the surface so only cleaner more settled water will just will pass through here and come over into this chamber right here at the same time any fats and oils will also float on top of the water now naturally this will have to be cleaned out periodically but the bottom line is that as you as the uh, mm, particles uh, come from the kitchen food particles and other things they will settle in the bottom fats will stay on top and the clearer water that is to say the, the gray water which is not 100 percent is not potable but it is good enough will then come over into this chamber right here go down into that exit pipe right there and will then flow on the ground and the way this one is designed there is another larger settling chamber that is on the exactly right here now what will happen is there will be another type of a pipe just like the one we saw there that is open on top and then it will as it completely settles here which is a much larger chamber it then runs over into the garden right here and as you can see the garden is absolutely beautiful it is green and pretty and that is what we use so here you have your pipe right here see as you can see the pipe is right here and this would be your overflow pipe it goes down right here it has a little has little um, holes on the sides that allow the water to simply just pop out wherever and so on and so forth and this is what keeps the garden beautiful and green 
So thanks for watching guys and if this is your first time here do not forget to hit that subscribe button and for all the my long time subscribers don't forget to hit that like button as well and if there is anything that you would like to know do not hesitate to ask and if something if it's something that I know I will endeavor to give you the correct answer. So again guys thanks for watching and you all have a great day.